So since quarantine started, I'm sure many of you are like me and you haven't gone to a nail salon in quite some time. As a result of COVID, I decided that I would test out some at-home nail kits and let you know how they are. Let's get started. The first nail kit I have is called Ohora. This nail kit was advertised heavily to me on social media. It's actually really cool. It's kind of like an at-home gel kit without having to do your own nail art. It comes with these strips that you adhere onto your natural nail and then cure it under a light. It's supposed to last two to four weeks and be equivalent to getting a gel manicure at a salon. So a little mini review of the kit. The kit comes with 30 nail strips which I found to be just enough for two sessions if you are a little bit thrifty and are okay with somewhat inaccurate sizing on your nails the second time. You apply the gel strips by first wiping your nails completely clean with an alcohol swab and then you pick the one that is closest in size to your natural nail. Adhere it tightly and press down and use a file to file off the excess or clip it. Be careful not to reapply it once you have it on as this will make it not adhere as tightly. You cure it with this really nice portable light that they give you and they recommend you curing it two to three times to make sure it's tight. So do this for all of your fingers. In terms of quality, these were super easy to apply and there was barely any bubbling or rippling on the nail. Once they were adhered, they look almost salon ready and I really love how they look. Overall, I found that these strips actually lasted pretty well. They lasted around two to three weeks, but around the two week mark, I did get some chipping, especially on my index finger and the nails that I use more heavily. Comes to removal, I was very nervous about this because anything that cures onto my real nail, I'm very hesitant, but it was actually so easy to remove. It was to dip the stick in acetone or nail polish remover, then gently push underneath the gel strip and it'll just pop off just like that. The removal process was super easy and even the application only took 30 minutes. I think that this kit is really awesome. It's really efficient and I love how it looks. This is one of my highly recommended items if you're doing gel nails at home and if you want a little bit of pizzazz on your nails. I also really love all the designs that the nails come in. They look very modern and sleek and elegant. Overall, this is my favorite nail kit out of all of the ones I've tried, so I really recommend this. So next up we have similar nail strips, but these are actually stickers and they're from Dashing Diva. So these, like Ohora, come in an assortment of colors, shapes, and designs, and they are exactly like Ahora's except that they are not gel, they're just regular stickers. The application process is fairly simple. Again, you wipe your nail completely clean and then you pick a strip that is close in size to your natural nail and then apply it. You file off the excess. And this I found to be a little bit difficult. It wasn't as easy as the Ahura gel strips as those were a little bit more bendable and malleable, but it wasn't difficult either. Once you have the nail strip on, you can't really move it, you can't really budge it. So please be aware of the positioning because that's just how it is. One thing that I did found to be a little bit hard to get right was, I don't know if it was because it was the first time I was applying these or if I'm just not that great at it yet, but I did get a little bit of bubbling along the edges with this one. In terms of quality, I was actually so shocked that out of all the nail strips and nail kits that this was the longest lasting. I definitely didn't think that a sticker would outlast the gel one, but this stayed on my nail for about four weeks. And removal is super simple. You just slowly peel it off. I think if you apply a little bit of acetone, it kind of helps. I was so shocked at the staying power because I really expected a sticker to, you know, kind of fall off after a day or two. And again, in each pack, if you are thrifty, you can use it twice. But overall, I would also highly recommend this as an alternative if you don't want to go the gel route. I was so surprised at how well they stayed on. So this one isn't a Korean brand, but it's similar and it's called Manny Me. And this one is kind of cool because they measure your exact fingernail size with some sort of app. You have to hold a credit card and from that credit card, they will ensure that the size perfectly fits your nails. Now with Manny Me, I did find that the adhesive was not as strong, which is good if you know you wanna switch up your manicure every week. It didn't really hold as tightly. It only lasted me about a week. And after like day four, it started peeling off. I did find that because it was already pre-fitted to your nail, that when you file it off, it made it a little bit easier. But out of the two, I think that I would choose the Dash and Diva one just for longevity if it were up to me. So lastly, I wanted to try something more natural like a nail polish. I've been seeing this ombre nail trend quite a lot recently and I really wanted to try it. So I went with Three Concepts Eyes Nail Cocktail. 
I call it a nail cocktail, but it's really more of an ombre effect nail. And I really love this because with three concept eyes, they've already pre-mapped out the colors for you, so there's no guesswork. But of course, if you wanna do this with your own nail polishes that you have at home, you can find two shades that look very similar and try it yourself. I was actually really interested in the finish of this nail polish because in the beginning, I thought that the finish was a little bit gummy. It didn't feel like it dried completely all the way, but I think that's just how the nail polish is and made blending a lot easier. So I think that the formula made blending the first color to the second color really seamless. I loved this nail effect and it was pretty long lasting. This manicure lasted me about two weeks. I love the gradient. I think it looks super soft and peachy. Now it is a little bit of a smaller bottle, so keep that in mind. And yeah, I think that the overall look is really cute. So these were all the nail trends that I've been trying while I'm at home. And if you have any others that you want me to test out, maybe I'll try some more in the future. Hello, so today we are having a tea party. I'm gonna go pick up the food right now, but it's really cold where I am, which is why I am wearing all this. I thought it would be warmer today and I could wear a dress. So I'm gonna go out and then pick up the food and come back and then change into my tea party dress. Thank you. 